Combat skills a bit rusty. Dead end job bringing you down. The old ball and chain yammer. Welcome to the training. So here, I'm going to show off all the training modes. Not at once, because there's a lot. But, yeah. Also, here's the combat controls. I got a lot of these, but not all of them, apparently. <laughs> I think it's just one level that made the fatal mistake for me. Anyway, this is a uh, big brawl mode. Uh, well, not big brawl mode. It's this is basic combat. Here, you get to basically fight a bunch of skull gang members in a boxing ring. And yeah, you basically do this for a really long time, and I mean a really long time. You basically fight just these and the green jacket men. And if you remember my thoughts about them, uh, they were very clearly just enemies that are basically really strong. But we're not playing by superhero difficulty mode it rules anymore. These are basically, I guess, the equivalent of normal mode. So I could easily take out these guys in one hit with advanced web gloves. But otherwise, yeah. As you can tell, they already upped the ante. More guards. Or Skull Gang members, to be precise. And yeah, this is basically all you get, is just fight a whole bunch. Fight a bunch of different ones. And you wait. You lost, kid. So as you can very clearly tell, this is based off the boxing ring from the movie. When Spidey... Well, when he first got the nicknames, the Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, yep, this is uh, where you learned to bo where he was boxing for money. Fought bone saw, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you just basically fight a whole bunch of enemies. Part not part of the movie, obviously. But then again, I thought this was meant to accurately represent what happened. If anything, the canonical version has to be the one in the intro. Anyway, I skipped ahead because there's a whole lot of fighting here. Hey, Bonesaw is here now. <laughs> yeah, he just sort of spawns in. I doubt there was much effort put into this, but yeah. As you can clearly tell, that is not Randy Savage. Not in the slightest. <laughs> ah, man. Let me introduce you to my fist. In this um, game, he's voiced by. Well, let me see my notes here. Uh, Jay Gordon. What do you know? The same person who voices Jameson. In this game, anyway. Yeah, this is basically uh, the, the secret boss. So, yeah, he has uh, one important use. He's here to. Basically chronicle the end of the basic combat, because there is an end to this, like I said. Although, he might be a little bit more ruthless than most other bosses. In fact, I think he has the most health out of them all. Because he, um... Like I said, this is supposed to probably be a diff normal mode. At least in terms of rules. Oh, and as you can tell, my uh, web has not gone down at all. That's because uh, I unlocked organic webbing. Well, it's not called that, but yeah, I basically unlocked infinite webbing. Yeah, if you remember how the result screens have, uh, you know, the score points and all, they unlock you secret stuff. If you play at least on superhero mode, you're basically going to unlock everything. You just got to make sure to play extra good enough to unlock infinite webbing. But yeah, that's it for Bonesaw. He never saw it coming. Fisticuffs at 50 stories. Yes, aerial combat. Yep, and this is basic, basic air combat. Or I can solve the problem just by shooting web. And as you can tell, there's a time here. Just like, well, basically most of the other Spider-Man games, there's some sort of competitive thing about these training modes. Or you can prove you're better than somebody else. By getting setting a high score. Only room for three though. And it's even more lackluster than the you know the other two games. At least in the other ones they allowed you to set a name. You know, put your initials, some specialized name, whatever. But here you don't even get that. It just you set a high score, the game records it, and that's it. Yeah. 
that's basically how this the score works here set a high score and then you can do all this oh as we can see here uh, there is some natural progression to these targets they turned red now and that means they need extra power to get rid of other than that yeah and as you can tell this is the same map as the photographing level the fourth level basically this is basically the default level they use for training on these weird landscapes for these special challenges. All you need to worry about is that there's no music, you just got things to do. Otherwise, nothing else is very much different. In fact, you can finally see this thing again. Finally used since, uh, when's the last time it's been used? I only remember in the first level, actually, so, hmm. Anyway, here's a... An unusual one. So yeah, you just gotta target specific ones. And this continues on. Obviously, if you hit the wrong one, you fail. And this is endless, so... You can just keep going as long as you want. Actually, but I don't think this one records your high score, so... Yeah. You can set whatever maximum number you want. But the game won't keep score of it. Won't keep a track of it. Gah. You get the idea. Yep, uh... Despite being music notes, they are not very arithmetic, I, I would say. But I'm not a guy who would talk about music. Otherwise, yeah, this is pretty much it. You get 16 of these things to worry about. And when you get them all, well, this happens. Yep, that's, I guess, what you call music? Anyway, that's it for that. Now for some other training modes they have. Yep, this is basically the one you're going to see a lot, is this VR-looking thing. Blue blocks everywhere. Yeah. And obviously, they just train you on how to web swing good. I cut it out because the trend, basic trend of most of these training levels is there's repeating structures and you just have to web swing very well at them. Reduce, you know, the time it takes to do this stuff and that's basically all you gotta worry about. And obviously if you land in the green you win. And uh, yeah. That's all she wrote. <laughs> this is all there is to these training modes, they just vary, they just vary. And yeah. And of the, let's see here. From what I recall, the basic structure for most of these training modes is that you start off with the basic thing. Basic blank. Basic. <laughs> and then you advance to advanced mode. And after that, then there's expert. And that's all there is to these. There's only three variations basic, advanced, and expert. Yeah, that's not much to these. But they still got the high score feature. So if you ever want to brag that you got less than two minutes on these, uh, go ahead. But I doubt there's some leaderboard for this. Not yet, anyway. Who knows? Anyway, expert mode here changes things up. You got to jump, you gotta make sure to lower your web. Yeah. There's not a whole lot to this. Yeah, this is a far cry from the other ones, I mean. At the very least, um... Well, Interlectro features at least some nice music here, and definitely doesn't look too bland for the most part, aside from it all being all flat. <laughs> green and black yeah I don't get what the VR uh, re reason why they try to use VR here but they do and as you can tell here this is web zip <laughs> web zip a whole bunch and that's all you need to worry about the only thing you gotta worry about really is uh, the camera but other than that it's pretty easy
So I guess we should just talk about something else here, because... <laughs> I guess I'll get back on topic with the what I was talking about, the training modes. Yeah. There's a recent obsession with uh, VR, apparently. Well, this is, I think, is VR. That's what I'm taking it as, because uh, there's certainly no... <laughs> No reason for something like this to exist in uh, in the realistic universe of Sam Raimi. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. Basically, uh, the VR mode here is bland looking. I mean, the nice feature is that they have web graphics on the blocks. That's it. <laughs> Eh, but the training mode, well, what can I say? I prefer Spider-Man 1s and Spider-Man 1s only, really. I mean, they're all a herald of useless features that you won't need to worry about in the game because they're really underutilized, but... Mm. Yeah. yeah, what is there to say about these? I'm talking over bland, featureless... <laughs> graphics and of course like I said this was early 2000s there was an obsession with VR so it was only natural this would occur which only makes me appreciate Neversoft using a different approach where it's all realistic looking like that's actually the way they made it look would be actually how Spidey would probably train your know, rooftops and you know, all that stuff and anyway, we're back in the rooftops. <laughs> Speaking of which... Yeah, and you gotta go through these hoops. Yeah, that's basically it. As you can tell, they try to go through the same course as the other ones did. And yeah, this is basically just trained to tell you how, the, how to web swing precisely, I guess. Although there's nothing that will require to web swing so precise. But it also teaches you about the height meter, I guess, where you gotta use the blue thing to, you know, gauge where you need to go. Yeah. And I'm cutting ahead to the platforms version of this. Once again, it's just the same thing. Go through the same preset course path with platforms that eventually get smaller and smaller. Yeah. This one at least kind of changes it up from the the holes one, where at least the path goes slightly different. But otherwise, it's not much different. Go through, do something, Spidey. That's basically all there is. And once again, I ask, uh, when are you ever gonna need to land something so, so precise? Because uh, I don't think anything in the game requires you to jump on something so small. Unless you're at going out of your way to land on small structures in this game. But yeah. Definitely not one of the worst training modes you could probably say, I guess. But there's not a lot going for it. It just is. I mean, let's see here. Of land, there's no music at any of these, so... Like, I mean none. You can die, the music still won't play, and yeah. Even this, uh, Big Brawl mode doesn't have music. But at least this one's way more interesting than the other ones. Because for one, you could see there's unique enemies here. Those two. That's a different mech that just, uh, only shows up here for some reason. And there's obviously, you can tell there's that one specific enemy with a machine gun. Yeah, he's special. And yeah, it's probably uh, the ultimate variation of it. At least it would be if the guard, the security guards probably didn't have more health. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't even know if there's an end to that one. To big brawl mode. But anyway, here's a, another... Back to VR. <laughs> another bland features one. Only this time, there's more blocks. And it, obviously, if you get a collision, it detracts from your time. Basically, the whole point is how far can you, how fast can you get to the end without touching anything? 
and that is harder than it looks. Because these game, these are still the same controls from the PS1 Spider-Man game, just with uh, new features. So it's still kind of clunky. Camera still messes your controls up a bit, albeit not, you know, nearly as bad. As long as you don't do it too fast. But this thing doesn't allow you room. And luckily, at least, uh, the you know, web swinging changes the camera for you automatically, so... Yeah, that's nice. So you don't have to lose track of where you go. Otherwise, this one's pretty short, but I obviously screwed up really bad here with the time. At least I won third place. And that's it for the first part of training. See you for the second one, where we can finally close things off properly. With some bonus things.